Uh, Bum, hello, welcome one and all to episode 14, that's right, of Serious Firmacraft. Uh, big up yourself, it's me, Dankenstein, and we are back. And look at that, what's that on the wall behind me there? I hear you cry. Why? It's a bit of silver, that's right. We actually had this marked on our map um, from long, long ago. There's there's the base down, well, down, down there. So I just ventured across, brought the mule with me. Um, figured we'll just kick off this episode by getting something ticked off our list. We know silver's something we need to mine a bit of. We don't have any yet. And um, we had this marked on the map, and actually I just came down into the cave underneath where my marker was, and, like, here it is, right? So, yeah, we're going to need to be a bit careful. I'm going to set up some big supports. Um, hmm. Yeah, it looks a bit scary down here in terms of how we're going to manage it with the supports, but as you can see, there's a load more around here as well. I did bring a decent number of supports with me, so yeah, let's try and get these set up and, and get this mined, but probably the main clump of it is, you know, in in here. I mean, we could quarry downwards, but I think that's an awful lot to dig. We're quite deep, so yeah, we're going to set up supports. What, what about in here? Is that another way into the bit that has it? Well, let's check down here, maybe. I don't want to get uh, jumped down in this hole. So it seems to go too low. Um, yeah, so I think I'm going to set up supports up there and just dig into that little bit of rock that seems to be kind of surrounded on both sides by exposed bits of silver. And... Um, yeah, set up some tall supports up on that row. Maybe another set there, so they're every two layers. Um, but yeah, I think we're going to montage this. We're going to kick off immediately into this episode with with a mining montage. So um, yeah, let's go.
right. Well, <clears throat> I mean, <laughs> it wasn't like a professional job that I did as such, but, you know, but we didn't die. And we did gather quite a lot of silver. You think that's a rich stack there? It's probably going to be enough to see us through the, the kind of early, you know, the progression to a red and blue steel that we want to. So, yeah, it's a decent, it's a decent haul. And, yeah, and we didn't die. And we didn't cave in the ground from underneath our, our trusty steed here. So, all in all, a success, I think. Let's, um, let's head home and, um, and cook it all up into some ingots. All right, so we're back home, quack. And <laughs> timing. And here's all the silver we brought back. I think it's a decent amount. And I think we will, yeah, turn it all into ingots now. We have these two ingots of pig iron, which I want to heat up and make into steel, which takes us up to seven ingots of steel, which is a little unfortunate because what I really want is eight. Well, actually, I want a lot more than that because I do want to make the steel anvil today as well. But look at this. The third tier of the backpack, of course. Of course, of course. We can, um, yeah, make four sheets of steel there and upgrade our backpack. We have the silver now. That's good. Um, and steel anvil, yeah, we're going to tick off the, the list now as well. So, yeah, we want to process the, the silver through to ingots. But we want to, yeah, do another good couple of runs on this guy. Um, which actually reminds me. I believe we have some charcoal from last time to dig out the ground, do we not? Here we are. There we are. It's like server lag or something, I just got in a little loop. Yeah, but once you're not standing on it, and you can do it incredibly quickly, I remember this. Okay, nice. And it should be like a like a stack and a half, isn't it normally? Yeah, we get a stack and a half and a bit bit more. So that's decent. I'm happy with that. Now, one thing I'm I'm a little aware of is that we might need some more ingot molds here because that isn't very many, and they break kind of easily and quickly. Uh, in these later editions of uh, TFC, I find. Ah, no, we 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 definitely have loads more clay, but I think it's just over here. God, this corridor looks so good now with these candles. Um, it's really nice. I think it's down here, like, somewhere, right? All the clay. There, yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, we got loads. We have loads. So, yes, yeah, so I think I'm just going to actually make, like, an insane amount. Like, we've got, at the moment, this one chest. But why don't we have, like, a whole row of chests just be moulds? We've got a few nice tasks to get be getting on with here. We can upgrade our anvil, hopefully, by the end. The bits where we're just grinding one thing repetitively will edit out, but pretty much, let's just uh, let's just get stuck in here. So first thing I'm going to do, which probably I will edit out, is just turn all of this uh, clay here into moulds. All right, and last but not least, bang. So we've got 52 of these guys now. So we're going to fire them all up, which I guess... We can do sort of like this. So quite if we can get 14 done at a time. So yeah, let's get that done. Yeah, so we'll just cook up these guys. And then we will cook up the silver next. I think I'm just going to isolate these things to be fair. Because multitasking between uh, over here. And I mean the blast furnace requires pretty much full attention. So let's just do this bit first. Get all the moulds made so they're done. So that we're not running out halfway through blast furnace work. And just get the silver process at the same time. Get this whole half of the equation done first. But this is this is good because yeah, not running out of moulds halfway through a complicated process is always a bonus. <laughs> right, these should be done. Yep, good. Let's get the silver going. We actually made quite a few too many uh, ingot moulds, but it doesn't really matter. If you look, our row of chests is completely full now. We've got the three there half made but we can keep these ones in our inventory these are ones that we can like be in play we can use them now basically so oh wow god that silver melts incredibly quickly it must have a m very low uh, melting point look at how fast it heats up though yeah okay so it melts at orange okay that's nice 
You can start pouring the ingots as we're melting the new ones in. And yeah, this is just a, a bit of a rinse and repeat, really. reaching the end of this process now really um yeah silver is uh getting absolutely stacked over here which is very nice very nice to see all right and they're all solid yes that's what i'm talking about although wait there's still load more in here isn't there what's that saying okay there's still fuel 840 okay not bad oh so i suppose while this is going on uh we can at least get these guys warmed and worked. I will do them down here. I think it's too risky. Otherwise, let's put some of these guys in there as well. Just get those to a good temperature. We could heat them faster up here. Actually, let's keep let's let's try this. We'll keep our eye on them. We obviously don't want them to melt in because we'll ruin all our metal. Um, but they should at least rise in temperature a lot faster in here. Doesn't seem like they are, actually. <laughs> oh yeah, now they are. They're speeding up, aren't they? Keep our eye on them, make sure they don't get anywhere near danger. I think we should be okay. Oh god, they're going fast now. They can be worked, which is actually all we wanted. So I'm going to take them off there, just before I do mess it up. Just leave them down there for a moment, while we just finish off up here. Multitasking is the name of the game, you see. Okay, and that's that. Now these guys are yellow. That's pretty good. Okay, they're teetering at the at the standard temperature of the of the of the forge itself now. So I think we should just be able to yeah. High carbon steel. Yeah. Okay. Cool. That'll do. And then that'll do. That's a steel ingot. I wonder if we. It's not weldable. Okay, never mind. There we go. We do have two steel ingots there. Not too bad. I guess I guess while they're hot, it's it makes sense to get them up to welding temperature and just get that bit done now. Which presumably means we do need to give them a a tickle. Oh no, there we go. They get to weldable just like that. Okay. Well let's I need more ingots. Yeah, let's just do these two because they're hot and we'll do the rest in a bigger batch later. Um, but yeah, can weld. Looks good to me. Let's let's salvage all our fuel here. Throw those on. Weldy, weldy. Ah, we can't make the sheets yet, of course, because this anvil is only iron. So that's like we're basically the first thing to do is to get up towards making the anvil before we can make the sheets to upgrade the backpack of course of course of course so that's fine so we have a double ingot there I'll, i guess what we'll do with the double ingot is we'll just place it next to the to the normals right and that brings us on to blast furnace time then i guess doesn't it oh yeah we can actually let's let's just empty all of these first all right, brilliant. That's done. And that is a decent haul of silver. Like, that's definitely a good amount. Is that That's like an exact even number, isn't it? What's that? Four eights. So we've got exactly 32 ingots of silver out of that little expedition. Decent. Can't complain at all about that. Let's eat some onions. Okay, so I was quite happy with how I made this whole thing into like one giant ingot pile so we have to kind of tactically take the ingots off but we need 20 so one 
2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Yay. And we've got 20 flux. And then, of course, we're going to need just a lot of charcoal. So we'll just, we'll go for that much for now. Let's say 20 plus 64. And now the way I've done this, I think rather annoyingly, like we have to just throw all of this stuff in here and then press that button down there 60 times. Would be one way of doing it, right? I think I can just grab the items back. There we go. So it just threw the two cast iron ingots. So that seems like a silly way of doing things. Really, this dropper is only very useful when... Uh, We've already kind of got the whole system going, you know? So with that in mind, I think what we're going to do is break it. I think it's what we did last time. Get in here. Break this guy. Throw everything in, like, manually. Okay, that worked. And then make sure that we've put this guy back in properly, which I think would just be like that. If we're this close, it should be fine like that. So if we come down here now and look at it, it should be like, yeah, I'm full. I'm ready to go. Yeah, baby. 20 fuel, 20 of that. Excellent. So we'll just come back up here and we'll just put our 64 charcoal in there. And I think we're ready. And then, yeah, we sh once it gets the temperature, we'll immediately be pulling as much pig iron as possible. I think we can just heat it and work it and stuff later. Again, I'm just going to remind myself of things and do this stage by stage. So we're just going to try and get all of what we've put in there out as pig iron that's the idea that's the plan and um, let's light the damn thing there we go and probably already yep it's consuming fuel oh, my phone interrupting us there so we just need to keep bellowing it and keep quacking <laughs> And yeah, and this should all this should all start to happen. Short of fuel, chuck a bit more in. Chuck a bit more in again. Is it not working? It's not. Is half of it just bursting out the side up here? Yes. So that's kind of an interesting uh, development. And yeah, some of it's put falling down the side as well. Okay. I wonder if it's when it's completely full, that's what it doesn't like. It might be that, you know. Ah, oh, look, it's all gone. So it actually worked. That's fine. And now this is pouring. So we just got to go real hard now. Because that is all coming down. Just keep the fuel moving. Keep it bellows, I guess. Because that's the heat we need to pour. Every time we click this, is it actually working now? I think so. It doesn't seem to be moving from 14 at all. And I presume as long as there's fuel upstairs, that it keeps pouring downstairs. So if this gets dangerously low, my button just isn't working at all. Which it seems to not be. We might just have to go upstairs and... um. Just start throwing in the fuel manually because I don't want it to lose temperature at all. It's just it's just losing temperature even though there's fuel up there. The bottom half is just not heat not continuing to be heated. So how do we get all of this out without just constantly pouring more and more ingots into the top? I mean, what if I just grab one of these? And that presumably will have yeah, given a little bit there and taken all the fuel that's sat on top now. So now if I pump, this guy doesn't get any heat until, so we're just going to end up, it seems to work quite differently, doesn't it? We're just going to end up permanently with too much pig iron stuck in this guy. If we break the crucible and move it, or do I need to set up a forge underneath it? Wow, I've got no idea. If you pick up a crucible that has metal in it, does it hold the metal? Because maybe that's what we should be doing, is just picking this guy up and moving it over here and just melting it all through. 
and just swapping the crucibles around. Uh, let's do an experiment. I think this is the only way to, um, because I don't want to lose 24 ingots, right? So if we just do this, let's take one pig iron ingot, chuck it in, and we'll get that melted into that crucible and then pick it up and see what happens. Oh, right, yep. Yeah. But it's already dropping. Yes, because it only took a certain amount of time for that tiny amount to pour through. The heat in there is now dropping, and we've got this awkward 57. Yeah. Okay, so this, I don't think the way we're doing this is going to work. I don't think this is correct. <laughs> but maybe what we're doing here is going to be the way to do it. So we'll wait for that to cool right down. Okay, that guy has now reached uh, zero, yeah? So let's see. We pick it up. Put it back down. It does maintain its ores. Let's do a couple of experiments on that. It does. They do maintain what they have in them. Okay. Well, this feels like a huge risk. Uh, let's let's wait for the top half to actually just burn out as well, I think. From the beginning, because there's so much value in here. Okay, let's pick up this guy. Oh, it went right down. What's happening to me? I'm exhausted. Why? Oh, because I'm carrying maybe a crucible full of ore. Contents. Yeah, look, the contents is in the crucible. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, that is actually really cool. Okay, and we've got that ingot back, so now we can just pick that crucible up. Put the main event down. Oh, yes. Oh, baby. This is good stuff. Let's put the empty one down in there. All right, wicked. Well, let's just pour all this out. I'm not going to subject you to this, I suppose. Although I suppose we, as it comes out hot, we do kind of... Yeah, look, they're solid already. Oh, I see. Okay, maybe we do want to kind of try and be clever about this. Because while they're hot, we probably want to work them, right? It's quite a lot of server lag. Let's make it hard doing this. Can weld. Okay, they're not weldable anymore. That's a shame. Let's get them heated up in here. I mean, I think you guys have seen me do this kind of thing enough now. We're pouring these out. We're working them. We're making double ingots. So, yeah, maybe I will uh, check back in with you in a moment after I've worked through a few of these. All right, cool. The lag's kind of uh, gotten a little bit better. There's five there, and I've got two pairs here that are ready to go. So let's see if I can show off here and do this really quickly. Yay. Are oh, these ones going to be too too late though? That's the question. Yes. All right, good. The showing off uh, paid off there. <laughs> uh, so let's grab all of these. And find a crafting table. And progression, baby. Ah, oh, yeah. And we can melt down as well our iron anvil into a load more cast iron, which we can make into more steel, which is pretty fun. Um, but yeah. Where, well, well, there we go. Ah, oh, it's a big moment. It's a big day for us all. And there it is. Beautiful. Let's put this guy like down here. We'll melt him down later. We've still got 14 more ingots of pig iron to process here. 
And so to get to where we want to with the backpack, we need four sheets, which is four more double ingots. So let's leave those. Let's let's leave those. Let's process them from scratch out of here. So we need eight. We need to pull eight more ingots basically to do that. So I can do them in two batches of four, as I've just done. And the only difference is now at the end, when we get the double ingot, we we craft it once more. We we work it once more into a sheet. Okay, so here we go. Like here's the sheet uh, thing. Oh, it's really really easy. It's just like basically the same as any of the others. So that's two, and we'll do that again. All right, here we go. That guy, and once more, please. That guy, sick. Okay, so we've got those dudes. And then we just need to pour out, what, six more ingots, easy. All right, the epicness has come to an end. And, I mean, overall, an absolute rip-roaring success, I would say. So we add to our steel pile quite nicely. We have the steel anvil. Um, we want to find somewhere to put all these molds now we're not using them, but presumably we've yeah We've actually destroyed enough now that they, they can all fit into there. We've got a little half a half a silver One to add to the half filled ones, but now what about this? What about this backpack? I think what well, from what I remember. Yeah uh, If you upgrade it while it's full of stuff it keeps the stuff, but I'm also a bit too scared to do that So we're going to uh, not do that. We're gonna just we're just going to upgrade it empty just in case and I hope we keep the color and everything backpack tier three there it is pop it back on and um, press B and <gasps> and we got three upgrade slots for it now as well Wow okay so that's quite a big uh, big deal that's a large amount of progression there which I am very happy about and yeah like oh yeah we had some spare torches that we keep in there right there's like the kind of like mining uh, equipment and the yeah the horse stuff and put the fuel back in yeah sick all right let's go and um finish the episode by adjusting our um our to-do list here so it's just tin and nickel on that one now so we say Mining hit list, tin, nickel. I guess we could write redstone. And then uh, we can just do that. Okay, and then over here, we just want to remove the steel anvil. So we want bedroom and cellar on that side. And with that, I think... Our work here for today is done, but this this backpack upgrade is is incredible. We should definitely look next time at actually getting some of these upgrades because I know they're quite expensive. Oh yeah, maybe they are a bit too expensive for us, but there could be some fun ones here. I don't know. Um, but yeah, big up yourselves. Thanks for watching. Shout out to the patrons. If you want to support on Patreon, the link's in the description, and then you will have access to play on this server uh, with me. Um, so yeah, big up yourselves if you're a patron supporter. Big up yourselves if you've watched the video. Thanks very much. Like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll see you soon. Peace.